The selection tools are a little bit tricky in Photoshop, um, mainly because there are different key combinations you can use to control them. Um, and once you get the hang of it, um, you know, it becomes pretty, pretty simple, but uh, it's just a matter of kind of remembering which buttons to press on the keypad while you're maneuvering with the selection tools. So I'm going to show you how to make a selection, add to it, and delete from it um, while holding the right key controls. Um, and just for the sake of demonstration, I'll be working with this, um, the iris of the eyeball here so that we can um, kind of think about which shapes to use. So ultimately, um, this is basically a semicircle, more or less. Um, I have loaded the uh, elliptical uh, selection tool. Um, and I could just click and drag to freeform draw a selection. Um, so if I click and drag while I'm holding the uh, mouse down, I can add the space bar. And that allows me to move my selection while it's still active, which means if I let go of the space bar, I can still modify what that selection looks like. So I would start by doing something like that. Now I could alternatively, I'm mean, just going to deselect by clicking anywhere with my selection tool, start somewhere in the middle of the selection and hold option. And when I click and drag holding option, notice that my selection grows outward. So if I can find the center, sometimes it's easier to make a selection by starting there and growing outward by holding the option key. I added the space bar to move my selection into place. And when I let go of space bar, I can then modify the selection. So that's something you should try kind of over and over again on your own until you really feel the hang of it. Um, I will let go of my um, mouse before I let go of my keys. And then what I'd like to do is just delete this whole area, uh, the eyelid basically, from my selection. So for that, I'll use my lasso tool, which is a freeform uh, kind of freehand tool. And with my lasso tool, notice if I press shift, I see the lasso tool with a little plus sign. And on my Mac option, or on the PC, the Alt key would give me the lasso tool with the minus sign. So with the minus sign, I now know that I can deselect, or, or sort of subtract from my selection. And when I'm subtracting from a selection, I need to start outside of the selection. So here's the selection, this circle. Everything inside this circle is the selection. So outside of the circle is where I need to start. I'll hold the Option key, and I'll just trace over the part that I want to subtract, which is all of this. Make a big circle, and I stop where I started, and let go of the mouse before I let go of the key. Now if I went too far, and you'll notice I always zoom way, way, way in when I'm working with selections like this. I could add the shift key. So the shift key gives me a plus sign next to my selection tool. And I could go with my um, shift lasso to add to my selection. I'm going to start inside the selected area and end inside the selected area. And then I can add to my selection. So that's the shift key with the selection tool to add, the option key or alt on a PC uh, with the selection tool to subtract. Um, and then very specifically, when you're adding, you're going to start and end in the selection. And when you're subtracting, start and end outside of the selection. It may seem confusing when explained, but it really does uh, get easier as you practice. So something to practice, and um, then you'll become a pro.